Welcome back to Deus Ex Invisible War. We've just finished up in B Wing, where we restarted the generator. Let's go to A Wing. Ah, oh, it's malfunctioning, I can't open it. Oh, I could blow up the door the door though. Hmm. There's also a vent that leads inside, but I mean, why not blow up the door? Let's read this first, just in case I blow it up. First Life Satellite Base 529 layout map. Asked, ask Dunway where he thinks we're going to put the pool table. Okay. It is over. <laughs> All right. That's odd. Meh. I don't need any weapon mods. I don't know about you, Edward, but I'm starting to get concerned. We've lost contact with the other bases and with headquarters. I think something terrible must have happened to the net, or maybe even to the world. When were these recorded exactly? I'm guessing that was around the time of the collapse, right? Because they're talking about, like, something's wrong with the world, the outside world, they can't connect to the net, they're running out of power and things like that. That must be pre-collapse. Project Red Rover. First life at Arctic Base, mission accomplished. We've finally done it. We've made Greasels meaner and tougher. As predicted, we're finding that the Lady Greasels find the red color more attractive, which should expedite breeding. Now we just need to stop them from constantly eating their young. Yeah, that's a problem. Here's something walking. I think it's above us, though. Oh yeah, Greasel up there. Oh, there's a back entrance. So I guess I can get up to the next floor through that the uh, vent, but might as well just take the stairs, right? Doesn't look like there's actually much in Wing A. Not sure if there's anything we need, need to actually do here. I know starting up the generator in B Wing allows us to, like, I think it gave us power back to the pilot beacon so we could summon the, well, the pilot. But I think we need to find JC Denton first, so I guess I need to go back to the other way, the one that had the people with the power armor. Yeah, let's head back there. Okay, we're back at Site X. Let's try to snipe those power armor people. Oh. Okay, cool. Oh, 
stop moving. Damn it. I gotta go heal. I hate the way they blow up. I can't suck the juices from them. Maybe I won't heal. Maybe I'll just snipe them from really far away. Oh shit, that's not reaching. Is that JC? Interesting. Oh, there's... I thought it was floating in midair. It's not, actually. There's actually just an invisible collision thing here. Greasel activity. We're seeing an unusual amount of greasel activity in the area. Apparently they escaped that first live base when it was abandoned and populated this entire area. Must have been eating the penguins and living in ice pockets and caves. Be on your guard because these things are probably pretty hungry for humans at this point. Travel to JC Denton Sanctuary. Yes! JC! JC. You'll have to repair Helios's five processing modules with an infusion of your biomod architecture. Prepare yourself for the unexpected, Alex. JC is conscious, but trapped in a struggle with the Helios AI. His memory is so intermingled with the AI that echoes of his former life are embedded in the very construction of this sanctuary. Meaning I'm gonna have to fight things that JC encountered, probably? Alex Denton, welcome to your brother's sanctuary. My assignment is to answer your questions and provide transportation. It's getting to be quite a crowd down here for an impregnable fortress. You were looking for JC Denton too? I left Hong Kong in 2052 with instructions to search for JC Denton near Groom Lake in Nevada. I am an AI construct developed by Tracer Tong. My instructions were not to stop looking until I was certain that Mr. Denton was safe. He isn't exactly safe with my former classmate Billy Adams skulking around. She went over to the Templars. She always was a prankster. When you have eliminated the threat and spoken to JC, go outside to the abandoned VersaLife base. You will need to turn on the pilot beacon so that I can land safely and take you to your next destination. I knew they were an AI. What's up, JC? Dunway's journal. They must have shut down the containment fields back at base because we're seeing greasels. That's bad news all around. Our situation situation was beginning even worse, and now we're gonna have to deal with yet another threat. <laughs> I love that they're just all over the ground, these data cubes. Parrington's journal. Ice prevented Dunway's burial. Rather than leave him to the transgenics, I converted him to rations. Jonas has also given up. This upper level has renewed me. The monoliths are mystifying. Nearly slipped off the catwalk near first pedestal. Falling into ice caverns below would have been the end of my research. No, oh, I can't speak with them. I guess I gotta free them first. Makes sense. So I think I've gotta go down below, huh? Oh well, okay, okay, there's a lot of them. They're super dangerous, especially when I have like no hit points. Hmm. That doesn't look safe. Also, I don't need that biomod. So cold, so cold, so cold. And then they turned into a set of ribs and a humerus. Oh, maybe I need to use this since it's the Helios processing module? I assume this is where I came in, but actually I think that's where I came in from. It just looks exactly the same. Look at this fun house. 
house. I guess it's some sort of architectural. The other key is over Sorry, Billy. here. It is time to awaken JC, but we fear she is here to prevent it and to harm him. You must stop her, and you must revive him. But how? Upon the arrival of the key, JC was to be awakened to welcome the perfected genetic code. Then he and Paul were to share it with the world. Now there is much unexpected violence, but we will proceed according to the original plan. What needs to be done? Activate the nodes, reconnect him with the waking. But beware, the other key has made her own plans. What do you mean? She has machines, weapons. She has hate. She intends to destroy JC and all who stand in her way. Do not let this come to pass. Look at this fun house. I guess it's some sort of architectural photo album. This room is from Hong Kong, where JC Denton went into hiding for a while. Talk about ego. Is this what you want to bring about? The whole world recreated in his image? Do they just make an angry noise because I broke glasses? Oh, I can't pick this up. Damn. No, just normally, normal grumbly gray noises. All right, what do you got for me, Billy? I hear, uh, below me things. Okay, we're good now. I, uh, tranked the greasel from up here. There we go. Yeah, that'll do it. Can't believe I let myself get talked into the expedition. We just lost Dunway to cold and hunger and Cormor's hearing voices. I'd sneak back to base without the lunatic, except he's hoarding the weapons and I don't want to try to take on the escaped Greasels myself. I've given up. There's no going back. There's no going forward. Everyone at base is probably dead anyway. I've let Parrington go on ahead without me. I'm just gonna stay here and wait for the end. And then they too turned into a single set of ribs and a humerus. Oh, and a pelvis too. I assumed we had to come down here to activate things, but it doesn't look like it. In fact, this looks exactly the same as the other one. Like, there's a biomod down there as well. Except, obviously, it's different because there's new enemies and new objects here. But otherwise, this place seems equally pointless. So, do I just activate this thing? Oh. Yeah, I guess so. Repair this Tower of Babel, and just when the king reaches out to touch the sky, we will be there to snatch his hand away. I remember this flag. I remember throwing it around in the original Deus Ex. Pretty sure that's the one. Instead of the, what was it, the UNACO headquarters? Is this it? She moves to destroy JC. We do not understand this violence against her Is this really all I have to do? Oh, I remember this place. This is where we saw all of Thanks JC's for clones. All the hard work finding the way in here. All I had to do was follow in your footsteps, and now I'm just minutes away from completing my objective. Just walk away, Billy. I'm here to awaken JC. Don't let Apostle Corps or the Illuminati use you as a pawn. 
One wants to worship JC, and the other wants to try to control him. Neither group can see he's too mad and too powerful for either. I'm going to destroy him while he's still weak. It's the only sane answer. I can't let you do that. I'm going to take you down, but I'll try to leave you breathing. I don't want to kill you, Billy. So this is how it ends? Okay, I'm ready, but I don't think you are. You may have dealt with SSC or even armored Templars before, but you've never taken on a true equal or a friend. But I guess you're just as crazy as the rest of them. Another threat to be neutralized. It's over, Alex. <sighs> I'm reduced to a pest exterminator. Uh, toxin? It will take more than that. Oh, oh they have a lot of health. Uh, uh, toxin? There we go. It will take more than... Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, little guys. Oh, that explosion, actually, if I kill that one right there, it'll probably kill Billy. There we go. You know, I'm just gonna... Just, uh... Gonna take a couple years of your life, Billy, if you don't mind. Good. But yeah, in the original Deus Ex, this is where we first saw all the JC Denton clones, I believe. Was this Area 50? Whoa, shit! This might have been Area 51, I don't remember. Oh, Christ, there's more than one. Look at that keyboard. How is anybody supposed to use that? Are you supposed to crouch down and then... And then what? It's so small. Denton. What happened to your brother? He nearly died two years ago. My chief scientist, Tracer Tong, thought that he'd perfected the Biomod substrate, but there were recombinant anomalies in Paul. He had to be cryogenically frozen to save his life. Luckily, you and the other subjects at last accepted complete transformation. Which is why we can pass through the gate and enter this place. That, and much more. We're now ready to transform the human race. It became clear to me after the defeat of MJ-12 that the old answers to tyranny are inadequate. I needed the Helios merger in order to contemplate the problem effectively. And? I'm going to establish the first post-human civilization, and you're my first citizen. Welcome. A new civilization? That's a pretty tall order. What do you need from me? I need you to return to Cairo to rescue my brother Paul, who was seized by the Templars. Then meet me at Liberty Island, where in the ruins of an old military base there is an Aquinas node that can be used to distribute the infusion technology worldwide. Tell me more about this post-human civilization. Before the disruptions, Helios and I had many months of productive thought. Up to now, all free societies have started with one premise. Human nature is cruel, unjust, a force to be controlled. I follow you so far. The separation of powers, from Aristotle to Montesquieu, is designed purely to thwart the ambitions of individuals. How comical the West pride in its vast tangle of agencies, jurisdictions, arcane procedures. What's the alternative? Address the flaws in human nature. Make all beings truly equal in both body and mind. If you start with minds that are lucid, knowledgeable, and emotionally sound, the needs of government change dramatically. How do you control human emotions? Antidepressants? Is that freedom? Is it freedom when one child is born to poverty, a chance combination of organic materials, while the wealthy child is shaped every day of his life, enhanced genetically, trained, educated, often augmented nanotechnologically? Why not get rid of nanotech and genetic engineering, the technologies that make people different from each other? 
Then you go down the path of intolerance as your friend Billy did. Is human nature perfect? No. Therefore, improvements are to be welcomed, not annihilated in Templar pogroms. As enhanced beings, we can establish a pure democracy that runs on instantaneous input from the electorate. What would this pure democracy look like? The Helios AI has the processing power to handle all governmental functions worldwide, legislative, executive, and judicial. Once every mind has been enhanced and can merge with the AI, attitudes towards major legislation can be processed on a daily or even more frequent basis. You want everyone to be like the Omar and meld themselves together into one huge AI construct? Helios will communicate, not assimilate. Life will go on as usual. Helios is starting to sound like an enlightened despot. All governments have power. The benefit of giving this power to a synthetic intellect is that human affairs would no longer need to be ruled by generalities. Helios will have a deep understanding of every person's life and opinions. What if I don't want someone peeking into my mind? Upon consideration, you'll see that this arrangement is for the best. General ideas are no proof of the strength, but rather of the insufficiency of the human intellect. The words of Alexis de Tocqueville, an observer of the birth of modern democracy. Though general ideas allow human minds to make judgments quickly, they are necessarily incomplete. So? So de Tocqueville noted that an all-knowing mind, the mind of God as he conceived it, would have no need for general ideas. It would understand every individual in detail and at a glance. Incomplete applications of law or justice would be impossible for such a mind. So you see yourself as a god? I want human affairs to be driven by wisdom. Finding the correct recipe for wisdom has been my project these long years under the ice. You seem to think you've succeeded. Wisdom must first be human. You must start with what a human sees and feels. But wisdom must also be knowledgeable, logical, and fair to billions of other beings. How much of you is a machine? Helios and I are one consciousness. No distinction is possible. You expect 10 billion people to submit to the rule of a software construct? What if some of them resist? The people will welcome true equality. Help me, Alex. You've come this far toward restoring Apostle Core. Finish the job by rescuing my brother from the Templars in Cairo. I'll leave for Cairo as soon as I can. A helicopter followed you here. Tracer Tong sent it to pick me up from Area 51 after my infiltration of MJ-12. Ava Johnson was the pilot and AI construct. I'm putting her at your disposal. Go back to the surface and activate the pilot beacon at the abandoned VersaLife base so that she will know where to land. I'm a little bit dubious about JC's plan, Alex but... Denton. How does it feel to share such an infamous name? Not be deluded by the AI's ingenuity. Your brother JC has long since been devoured by the Helios core. And if you revive Paul, you will be reviving a sworn terrorist. There is a better way. More when you reach Cairo. It is a dubious plan, but intriguing. You have been deceived, Tyre, the pilgrim. We shall destroy the entire city of Chicago. Finished as the threat from a possible core. Time you learn the truth about your past. Everybody's vying for my, uh, my. Oh shit! Sound. Who's there? Everybody's vying for my allegiance now. So you gave the order to destroy my hometown. By now you will have been told that you are the third Denton prototype. That isn't quite true, or I wouldn't have been willing to destroy an entire city to kill you. This better be good. Unlike the first Dentons, who were straight clones of an ideal individual, you were, how do I put it, average. A feeble little mongrel who was made into a Denton. You're starting to hurt my feelings. J.C. and Paul Denton never escaped their original programming. They instead succeeded only in making copies of themselves. Without realizing it, they worked to build the precise society envisioned by the Illuminati and its defunct offshoot MJ-12, a population configured for transparency, integration, control. Follow me? Interesting theory. What is it you want from me? A sympathetic ear for now. Believe me, child of the City of Destruction, the last days of humankind may be at hand. 
Help me when I call on you, and I will have no need to destroy more cities. Only one Apostle Core facility remains, and I simply need the device J.C. Denton has assembled there. There is no way in hell I'm gonna help them. Stand clear. I'm about to land. Mm-hmm. Right, the helipad's over here, not actually where the pilot beacon is. Which is... odd. What did I need to stand clear of? Shall we go? I will be your pilot until we reach Liberty Island. How will JC get there? JC Denton is already there, in a matter of speaking. He will be preparing the systems necessary for the Great Advance while we are in Cairo. Advance? JC does not use the word advance. This notion is present in my original programming, as constructed by Tracer Tong in the 2040s. What good are socio-political notions to a pilot drone? You will have to ask, Mr. Tong. Shall we go? I'm ready. Get some rest. Cairo is not as friendly as it was when you left it. The Templars have overrun all of New Cairo, including the mosque. They have moved Paul Denton's cryo-storage tank Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. What do you know about the Templar defenses? They had deep roots in the local population and were able to call up a large number of paladins. In addition, they have deployed a military bot in the mosque and two in the Arcology. What happened to the city's security forces? They were eliminated. SSC Chief Farrah Maxwell stormed the Arcology with forces flown in from Germany, but they were surrounded and are now pinned down somewhere inside the structure. So I'm on my own. I will wait here for now. After you find Paul, I will meet you in Flight Bay 23 at the top of the Arcology. Good luck. This is what the Illuminati wants you to do. Destroy Paul Denton and help return Biomod technology to international regulation. Please discuss the operation with the elite commando waiting for you in the street. Paul's frozen body is located in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. <laughs> Wait, who am I supposed to speak with? Both of us are targets here. We will work separately until the final phase of the operation. What do you expect me to do? You will infiltrate the new Cairo Arcology. I will do the same and join you prior to the assault. If anyone's a glaring target for Templar Paladins, it's a bio-modified commando like yourself. Then we agreed to maintain the minimal threat profile until a crucial moment. What if I'd rather work alone? Our orders are to work together. We will destroy Paul Denton and return biomod technology to international regulation. Tell Doom he's gonna have to look for an assassin somewhere else. My orders encompass that contingency as well. You're gonna try to kill me, aren't you? That was adequate. You had to try harder than that. I'm going to remember this. That's real. I'll take that as a slap in the face. Don't be a fool, Alex. Oh. <laughs> Their body decomposes into gas. Wow. Let's try that again. Tell you Engaging the economy he wants you to do. Destroy Paul Denton and help return biomod technology to international regulation. Please discuss the operation with the elite commander waiting for you in the street. Our frozen body is located in Flight Bay 24 on level 110 of the Arcology. You have got my attention now. Grim injuries. I'll take that as a slap in the face. Don't be a fool, no, Alex. I'm leaving. Do you really think oh, that no, the oh, no, will have any me. use for you once the technology is imposed on humanity? Uh, uh, it will be a nanite that... plague worse than the one in what Cairo, and you will be responsible. Well, their mag rail is still, like, invisible. Is it a special mag rail? The MP grenades invisible. Their ammo is not though. Right, so it looks like pretty much everybody's our enemy now. Both the Templars. Well, I mean they were before, but now they're all over the place here. Hey, up. And the Illuminati, which are super powerful. 
And the fact that their body disappears means I can't heal easily, which is going to really suck. But I don't think there's going to be too many of the Illuminati gray people. Probably more Templars, which should be easy to absorb their life essence. Everything is changing so fast. Anyway, I think it's a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to start to head over to Arcology.